uh, it was 35 years before they would allow me to remember. You see, all those years, I never, though I had dreams, sketches of having been visited and things of this nature, I also learned that I had gained some attributes uh, uh, to the extent of uh, knowing musical instruments, uh, uh, writing, poetry, uh, artistic talents, and some say on occasion to be able to relieve pain in others by the touch and things of this nature. I knew that I had gained these attributes over the years, but I didn't know from whence it came except from God or uh, in heaven and what have you. They once told me, friend Martin, we cannot give you what you do not already possess. Mayhaps we will be able to enhance it, but they can't give you nothing you don't already have. There is nothing you desire to do upon earth. If you touch your brother or your sister who is in pain and wish them well, then you cannot be denied simply because you are not there for fashion, form, or gain, or anything of this nature, and your will will prevail. If you seek ultimately to learn the secrets of this universe, then you will, not might, learn the secrets of the universe. You will learn it because no knowledge can be withheld from you. All these things I'm telling you today, you already know. All I'm uh, causing you to do to, in some cases is to re-realize what you already know <laughs> and things of this nature. So I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know or suspect and uh, my job is to key it in. Now we are living in a time that in your lifetime and mine, there will come great transitions upon this planet. I'm not just talking about a war with Iraq. Uh, I'm not just talking about the trouble in the Middle East where people who are kindred to one another cannot get along nor allow each other to live in peace and what have you. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, the collapse of economies uh, based upon thieves in high places and things of this nature. I am talking about uh, a host of factors such as poisoning of the water table, cutting of the rainforest, uh, pollution of the air, the uh, uh, fluorocarbons and hydrocarbons in the air uh, causing this uh, greenhouse uh, effect and things of this nature that's causing it to flood in different places and freeze in others have drought in certain places and all this. There's a machine built up close to the North Pole called the HARP, uh, high altitude radiation uh, type thing. Mm. To, uh, what they want to do is, they say, ostensibly, is to read the ionosphere and bounce uh, heavy ion rays off of the ionosphere and so it'll tell us something about the creation of all planets and things of this nature. The ionosphere is very fragile. What they are doing is disrupting it and ultimately causing holes to open uh, 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 up in the uh, shield. You understand? Um, uh, up in the ozone shield and things of this nature. Thereby calling, causing the poles to melt, raising the sea levels, which changes the weather patterns, which causes it to flood. And these things are going to become more prevalent. Also, uh, there is so much wayward nuclear material and things of this nature until if you got the money, you can get one. <laughs> if you really got the money, you can get a, you can get a suitcase nuke. You understand? And what, <laughs> until uh, these things cannot be contained, we've got all this to contend with. Also, there is such thing as the Nile. The, the, the mosquitoes are giving us Nile stuff, the, the disease and things of this nature. Uh, various other calamities are befalling us. Uh, AIDS has decimated Africa, uh, having been implanted there by, by these uh, uh, researchers some decades ago. Overpopulation, uh, the lessening droughts and all this, is going to start coming together. There comes a time when there is a fluctuation uh, in all things given. 
on human on earth. Life is not guaranteed to us. Try to understand that for every species living upon the planet, a hundred species has come and gone. We are not tenacious, as tenacious as say the rat or the roach or what have you. Uh, but there have been many other species that have come and gone from this earth. Life is not guaranteed to us. Uh, realize that uh, meteors coming within, uh, say, uh, near 300,000 miles or so of us, which is just beyond the moon and this side of Mars. Had it even hit the moon, it may have shaken it from its course and causes the oceans to rush inland and things of this nature because of uh, the change in the gravitational pull. Our only salvation is that we are highly spiritual entities capable of doing great things upon the face of the planet. We are capable of altering this. We have the scientific, the creative, the technological knowledge, uh, the theoretical ability to turn all these things around. And we're going to have to start doing this and uh, at a breakneck pace in order uh, to begin to stop this Armageddon uh, that's coming upon us. Because the Armageddon seed, I tell you truly, has been planted. And uh, we can all feel it instinctively. They didn't have to bomb the trade uh, centers for us to feel that something is coming down on this planet that's not going to be very nice. Uh, it is our duty to do the best we can to uh, try and turn this thing around in any manner you possibly can and what have you. Uh, if you say that one person cannot change the world, uh, it can happen. Right now we draw most of our inspiration, religions, philosoph philosophies, uh, architectural abilities, science, and things from just a handful of people down through history. We may have improved upon them and what have you, but they gave us the concepts. The concepts to turn this thing around is within you uh, and me and everyone who walks the land. A kind word, a meal, uh, a word of encouragement, a kind act, a smile might very well change the world. Now, I cannot tell you when the world is going to end. I can tell you that I can tell you that based upon the data we already hold, uh, computed by the throw weight of what's already in the earth and what's beginning to happen, that by late 2011 or early 2012, something's got to give upon this planet. I cannot see the future, neither can they in its finest form. Because I'll tell you truly that the future is changing even as we speak. Of the very, uh, wh no. while you're here listening to my voice, something may have transpired within you uh, that may alter the future. Heavens forbid someone now is getting, uh, having an accident somewhere. Uh, that person may not have really shaken the future of the world, but perhaps the person who was killed was going to have a son that's going to be the next president. So all the future is being altered. Uh, uh, kaleidoscopic type manner even as I speak so it's always changing uh, we can only deal in generalities and things of this nature there's another book to write I don't think the world is ready for the data and what have you, so I've been shirking writing it for years. But I'm going to have to because we don't have a lot of time left uh, upon this planet uh, to keep going like we're going. Uh, I realize to many of you, I've not really told you much today that uh, uh, it's not in my book. I haven't uh, reiterated to you before. But I hope that in some manner, I may have given you a key into the realization uh, that we are not simply black or white or red or yellow. We are a universal community. You did not start on this planet and you will not end on this planet. If they blow everything up and you float this fissional dust out in the cosmos for the next thousand eons, once again we'll crawl from some Jurassic Sea and start all over again. Personally, I don't want to get bit in the butt by another saber-toothed tiger. 
if we can stop this thing uh, before it goes too far, then we have a chance. I want to thank everybody for coming today. I want to thank Patty, Dr. Ong, Curtis, my dear son, Eric, Brother Iman Ra, Dr. Hans, and us, Abina, the lovely Abina, Tayambi, uh, the good brother, Ben Ra, and his lovely family, and all of you wonderful people. Uh, Steve, my good friend Steve, who, uh, when I first came up out of the Badlands, gave me an opportunity to speak and help me out, and things of this nature. Uh, Sue and her family, my good brother Jay, brother Solomon, uh, Rob, <laughs> And everybody, I'm sure I, I, I can't cover everybody because I'm bad on names, but I love you dearly. Uh, we'll keep doing the best that we can um, uh, to try and alter what may transpire in your lifetime and mine. And I thank you all for coming. I feel that there's a possibility it may blow in some rain here or something like that pretty soon. I don't want you to get caught out in the rain. Did you ask your question? Yes. Probably when you said you were first born into the storm. Yes. Thunder, were, lightning. Did yes. you explain that was about? Yeah, right. Into the world? Yeah, they're, maybe they're gonna pull that again on me. You know, you 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 see what I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're gonna pull that again on me, Brother Solomon. I don't know. But uh, I thank you all for coming. Uh, and now, everybody, rush to the table. Uh, and eat quickly, eat plenty. Uh, and uh, and there's also there's also produce here and bags. Take a bag, tomatoes, uh, the cantaloupes, what have you. Take something home with you. I cannot save it. I do not have the facilities uh, to uh, uh, you know to save it and think like this. So I I want you all to help me eat up all this good food before the rain comes in torrents as it did when I was born. You understand? They did not promise me that I could run my mouth forever, only that they would make it pleasant. You understand? <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, but if it does rain, it won't last long. I you get, get your electronic instruments up, you don't want to get water in and what have you. Uh, and uh, we'll weather the storm in case maybe you have to go to your car or something like that. As soon as it quits, we'll race back out and eat the food up. It's not going to stay with us too long. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, at some point in the future. Is there an order to these? Or just pick them up uh, and put them in uh, a box. Uh, in the future, uh, I would, I would dearly love to, uh, to, uh, you know, to discuss with you many of the technologies and things of this nature of these extraterrestrials. Time did not permit us today, but we'll get to it. We will get to it.